Hello and welcome to my channel, Lala's Wild and Crazy Golden Ears, where life happens in real time. Today's topic is going to be all about the chair. How you can sit and do stretches and exercises all whilst on your tush. Um, phys a physical therapist bleh, I had after my knee replacement showed me how to do exercises that were effective to help my knee get better and I thought, why not share these? I mean, for those of us in our golden years who cannot do exercises in the traditional way, for example, I can't get down on the floor yet and get back up without a forklift. So if you decide you want to follow me along on this uh, adventure, uh, you need a couple things. You need a good chair, preferably one without arms and legs and a head, something that's going to be supportive. Uh, 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 you can do a firm couch, um, but I would not recommend a beanbag chair or a hammock. Just trust me on this. So then um, you'll have your chair and you will move on to comfortable clothing. Now some people like to wear uh, business clothes and, and I guess that's fine with them if it works. I on the other hand prefer leisure wear. So that's what I'll be in. So what we're going to do first, now that we're in our gear and we're sitting here, we're going to take three deep breaths to get ourselves grounded. So you're sitting all nice in your chair. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you, if you can't set up without slouching, slouching, get a, a towel, wrap it up, and stick it under your bum and to where you're, you're nice and firm in that way. So the first thing I like to do is uh, stretch my calves and my toes. So... Oh, that's after the breathing, which I need to go back to. I get, I get so easily knocked off track. So we're going to set up nice and comfortable, and we're going to take three deep breaths, like I said before. Ready? In through your nose, deep. Hold it. And let it out. You can be as loud as you want when you let it out. Yoga teaches you to do it from the back of your throat. If that works for you, go ahead. Ready? Number two. Hold and release. One more time. Hold and release. Okay, now we can move on to the next real exercise where we're going to do, do what I said before, stretch our calves. So we're going to sit like this in an L shape, like this, and we're going to Get up on our toes. Oh, feel that stretch already. Go flat, bring up your toes. Flex your toes. So, down, up on your toes. Flex, up, flex. Now I love these, so I, I do a lot more, but for the sake of this video, we're just gonna do a couple, two or three reps of each so that you can get the idea. Otherwise, this video could be as long as I am winded. So after we've done that, I wanna let you know something else too. <laughs> I, I, at 66, do not believe in no pain, no gain. That, that's not the goal here. The goal is to get yourself into shape uh, at your own fitness level. If you're just starting out, you can watch this video first uh, all the way through. Uh, that way you don't really have to change your attire and you can sit in a beanbag chair in a hammock. But if you're going to follow along, you just want to be careful. There should be no discomfort or pain. If so, stop in the name of love. All right, now we're going to move on to the other exercise, which is one of my uh, favorites from my physical therapy, is we're going to straighten our right leg out. Hold it up. Oh, I got flip-flops on. Hold it up. And you're going to flex, or you're going to point and flex. And then I do a ring around the rosy. Now, if you're starting to go back, make sure your towel is in position. Just bring your leg up, even with your other knee. Again, flex and point, ring around the rosy. And as I said, you can do that as much as you want that feels comfortable. Raise your left leg, point, flex, keeping your posture good and breathing. Uh -uh, don't hold your breath and ring around the rosy both ways. Now another of my favorite that I, uh, that I li like to do on the ground because I, I feel like it a better stretch, but in this case we're just going to do it this way where we are going to take our right leg out, flex our foot, 
probably have to come to the end of your chair a little bit. And now we're going to put our hands on our right thigh and we're going to slide down. Now the key here is to go down only as far as comfortable. Keep your back flat and feel the stretch there. I have worked up to where I go all the way down, not being a show off, grab my toes and flex. So I feel it in my quads, in my tush, and in my lower back. And you can hold this for many breaths as long as it feels comfortable. So then we're going to slide back up, get into our position, and we're going to do the same on the left leg. Put it out. Let's go sliding down the mountain as far as comfortable all the way down, whatever you can do, and pull those toes, keep your back flat, or hold your, your calf, and just pull so you feel that stretch. Oh. I'm slide back up, and now we're ready for the next one. Now this one uh, is a challenge for those of us that can't bring our right leg up over our left. I cannot do that on my left because my knee isn't there yet from surgery. So I'll show you how to do it with your legs crossed. But for this, this first one, we're going to cross over here if you can, sitting up straight. And we're going to take a deep breath. And we're going to come down over to the right, grabbing your thigh, your right thigh, and putting your hand down in the chair and look over your shoulder. Only if it's comfortable. Do not go so far that you crack. And you hold this for several breaths. I really feel it in my back and hip and my uh, hamstrings. Mm. Then you come back up. Take this leg off and cross your right uh, left knee over your right. We're going to take a deep breath, sitting straight. We're going to turn to the left and come back down. Now bet your hands on the back of your chair and on your thigh and Look over your shoulder, like I said, as far as comfortable feeling the stretch. Couple breaths here, and then we come back forward. All right, on to the next exercise. We're going to walk our feet out. Now, you walk your feet out. If you only can walk it out a little bit, if you can't walk it out, just leave it like this. But I walk my feet out because this is going to stretch my inner thighs and my sides. So I point my toesies this way and put my heels up. But if this hurts, I couldn't do this very long ago because of my knee, but now I'm able to do, do pretty good. So once you're in this position, you're going to take your left arm and put it on your left thigh. Bring this arm with a breath over and stretch. Like I said, I really feel it in my inner thighs and my side. And you can hold this breathing for as long as you like. Come back down, and we'll repeat on the other side. Bringing up your left arm over, keeping your posture good, <sighs> feeling that stretch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> now that was wonderful, in my opinion. So next, we are going to do something that is my favorite. It's kind of a way to end this on uh, for this session. So, got your legs like this again. And what you're going to do is put your thighs up here, and we're going to take a deep inhale, and we're going to slide our hands down, releasing the breath and arching our back. This is one place where you can arch your back. Oh, feel that there in your lower back. Mm. Hold it as long as you want. Take a deep breath. Come up. Put your look up at the ceiling and push out your chest, or AKA bosom. And hold. Now, if you see spiders or bugs on your ceiling, please keep your mouth shut. It's just a little tidbit there. Now we're going to come back down again. Uh, exhaling. You'll get it. I'm talking too much. And let your air out and arch your back. Oh my goodness, 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 goodness. Then we're going to pull up this way. One more time. Pushing out that chesty bosom and come back to, to this. Okay, so now that we've done that, we should be nice and awe and ready to move on to our day or to do more exercises. I'll usually do the recumbent bike or the treadmill to get my uh, blood pumping a little bit more and to really work out. 
my body. You got to do your own routine based on your fitness level. So some people, if they can, weather permitting, will go out and take a nice brisk walk, pumping while they do it, up tall, smiling, singing, I don't know, I'll, but just make sure you're breathing too. And if you're new to it, you want to go, you want to ease into it. You want to just stroll, but you know, try to keep your posture, try to breathe. You can sing if you want, as long as you're breathing. And um, then you will be ready to uh, move on up once you get this routine done. And please have really good walking shoes. That's so important. So having got to the end now, uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you enjoyed it enough to like. And if you want to see more of my content, which will be expansive, <laughs> please hit subscribe. My next video is going to be on skincare. I'm going to share my journey that I had for the last 20 months to uh, work into your routine if you like. It's for mature skin and uh, there's simple ways and there's more involved. I do the more involved now, but there's three simple steps that I'll show you that you can do if that's all you can do. You're, you're halfway there. So another thing I'd like for you to do is put some comments in, below in my comment section of things you'd like to see, topics you'd like me to cover, and I would do my best, definitely. Um, now, I would like to share something with you before I sign off. I have a funny quote to share from my favorite comedian, Betty White told by her character Rose on The Golden Girls. My mother used to say, the older you get, the better you get, unless you're a banana. There is so much truth in that, isn't it? See you soon. Lala out.